In this video, we will discuss Rule 9, the federal rule for pleading special matters. Remember, Rule 8 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure applies to all civil litigation in the federal courts. So our starting point for every complaint is that it must include a short and plain statement showing that the plaintiff is entitled to relief. All complaints in federal court have to comply with that relatively easy standard. But some pleadings in federal court have to go beyond Rule 8 and also comply with Rule 9. Specifically, Rule 9b applies to pleadings that include allegations of fraud and mistake. Rule 9b requires a pleading in federal court to state the circumstances of fraud or mistake with particularity. By way of example, here we have Debbie, and Debbie claims that she's selling an original masterpiece. In fact, the painting is only a copy and is worthless. But Patty trusts Debbie and pays a lot of money for the painting believing that it's an actual masterpiece. When Patty realizes that Debbie fooled her, Patty decides to sue Debbie. Patty decides to sue Debbie for fraud. Remember though, Rule 9b applies to allegations of fraud. That means Patty will have to plead the circumstances of the fraud with particularity. To plead the circumstances of the fraud with particularity, Patty should allege who, when, where, what, and how. So Patty should allege who committed the fraud. That's easy. She thinks it was Debbie. She should also allege when the fraud occurred. Patty also needs to allege how the fraud occurred. For example, did Debbie lie to her over the phone? Or did Debbie send an email? Or was this a fraud in person? The complaint will also need allegations of where this fraud took place. For example, are we in an office in New York? And of course, Patty will need to allege what the fraud was. In this case, Debbie lied about a painting. By alleging who, what, where, when, and how, Patty has alleged the circumstances of the fraud with particularity. Now Patty's complaint complies with Rule 9b. Patty will also need to allege that Debbie knew she was lying, but these allegations can be made more generally. And that will just require plausible, factual allegations that Debbie knew she was lying. If you'd like to discuss pleading requirements or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board and please visit my blog. Also, feel free to send me an email or to post your comments below.